Hello and welcome to Little Learners. I am so excited about today's video because I am going to be reviewing this. This is all about coding and if you're not aware, coding has become a big deal in early education. So this is a kit by a company called Kano and they were very, very kind and sent me this to review. An honest review, of course never any fake reviews on this channel. So thank you to Kano for sending this to me. I am really excited to get started. This is a kit to build your own computer and then you code it using, I think an app, but we will find out. And it is aimed at children aged six plus. Please note that this pixel kit and related software include flashing lights, which may not be suitable for photosensitive epilepsy. So let's take a look in the box and see what we have. Okay, so first of all, when we open, we have some literature to read. So we've got how to make a light board, the user manual. We've got some stickers. We've got a little message from team at Kano. And then we have, you know, the boring bits. So let's reveal what is underneath the kind of black material here. So excited. So we've got a lot going on here. We've got some little switches and dials. I'm guessing this is a battery. Um, a case, I suppose. And then we have the actual computer component. This looks so complicated. I mean, I suppose we don't have to make this part, so that's the complicated part over with. But Imagine if you were six and you got this and someone said, you are going to be able to use this. I would feel so clever. So let's take a look at the user manual and find out what we actually have to do. Hi, I'm Judoka, your Pixel Pal, and I'm going to help you build and code your own light board. Ready? Let's go. So from the outset, very child friendly. Okay, so then it's going through showing us what's what. So we've got our Pixel board, we've got our battery, mode dial, power cable, lanyard, joystick and buttons, and stickers. Also got a case, a filter, and now it's telling us to download the Kano app. Now, as far as I'm aware, you can do this on iPad or a laptop. I've got my laptop, so let's see if we can download the app. So it just says to go to kano.me forward slash app. Okay, and now it's opening. So that all in all took about a minute to go onto the website, download it, and install it on my computer. Hello, I'm the Kano app. Thanks for downloading me. I'll help this computer speak to your new coding kit. What is your name? Nice to meet you, little learners. Pick a kit. Okay, so we have the pixel kit. Add the kit. Okay, so now we're seeing a little video of our pixel kit and kind of what it can do. I think I've seen this video before on their website, kind of advertising the kit. Looks very cool. Okay, have you built your kit pixel kit? Read the storybooks, follow the steps, switch it on. Okay, so we need to now build our kit before we can start using the app. So let's move the laptop out of the way and let's take a look in the book. Okay, so the book is explaining how Computers are used to control lights in very child-friendly language. Okay, so we're going to start. So it's telling us to get our computer board, our light board, and we need to place the two buttons on it firmly like this. It's got pictures on there, which is helpful. So I'm just going to place my buttons. Two, okay. Next, we're going to add the joystick. Again, there are pictures, so that makes it a lot easier and it kind of shows you where you need to place all of these things. I've placed, oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble uh, attaching my joystick. Press firmly onto the, oh, okay. I've done it. You must press firmly just like the book tells you to. Okay, time for the mode dial. So that's this one with all of the numbers on it, like so, okay. All right, now we need the battery to power up the pixels. Yay, all right, what is next? Oh, it started doing things. 
It's lighting up. That is pretty cool. That is, that is cool. I am so excited about this. Okay. Great. Now to keep it strong and safe, let's make the case and snap the pieces together. Am I doing this right? I mean, it is pretty self-explanatory. It literally has drawn it out for you, but it's a bit difficult because I'm trying to do it in a way that you can see on the camera. Yes. Okay. So now we have our light box. This is so exciting. I already feel like I've achieved so much. Awesome. No lights. Go back to page 20. Okay. So there is a switch on the side. Slide the switch down to turn it on. Oh, okay. So, right. So my switch must have already have slid down. So you can slide up to turn it off and slide down to turn it on. Okay. So there are three light shows on here and it's explaining how they all work in this book. So the first is Perlin Noise, and that is an algorithm used to create textures and landscapes in animations, movies, and games like Minecraft. The next is Sound Visualizer. Sound Visualizer allows your Pixel Kits microphone to turn sound into light. So it's going to, you can play music to it and get it to light up to the music. And the third light show is Particle Flow. These points of light drift across the light board, leaving a trail of colour like shooting stars. And there are different games on game mode. So I pressed A to start. And I, this is Snake. I can move this around and play Snake on my little computer. I used to play Snake on my Nokia all the time. Okay, so there are some other games on here as well. But what we really want to look at Ladies and gentlemen, is the coding aspect of this. So we're going to go to our app. And yes, I have built my kit. Plug in the red cable. I was wondering where this might come in. Okay, so I've plugged it into my computer. Done. Searching for pixel kit. Okay, so now it's asking me if I am ready to code. Okay, so. Flash and draw the lights, turn the light, turn on the lights, change colours, make them move and sparkle, paint pictures, learn to make frame by frame animations. Microphone magic, use the pixel kit microphone, make lights dance to music, turn on and off when you clap, scream, shout and sing. Wow, make a treasure game, build a pixel game, collect treasure, munch your way along the board, make a light show. So you can make a light show, a game, you can use the microphone to make it dance to music and you can also make the lights draw pictures. So I'm going to try and draw pictures this time. First, let's turn on all the lights. Open the light board tray. Turn, this ter block turns lights on, drag it to your source code space. Okay. Right, next let's turn on a single pixel. Open the light board tray again. This one opens a single pixel. Okay, so it's going to show us, it's, you're telling it which pixel you want it to use. So along the X axis and up the Y axis, we're just doing one. So that should be the first one. Nice, play around with this number and see what happens. So we get to see on the side, a kind of simulation of what this is going to look like in reality. Awesome, oh, I've got a badge. How exciting. Okay, I've got it. Next challenge. Okay, so this is great because it doesn't just give you the app and say, okay, do whatever you want. It's teaching you how to use it so that later on, children can go on and they'll have the knowledge and the skills to be able to create their own light shows or games or anything else that they want to do on there. They will have the tools to do that rather than just going in blind and hoping that it will work. Oh, so then it's going to make more than one light up. I see, this is really cool. Okay, so I think I've given you a bit of an idea of how the whole interface works. So off camera, I'm going to make up some code. I'm going to teach myself some using this app first, and then I will show you my creations afterwards. <laughs>
So all in all, I really enjoyed this. Um, I think this is a wonderful piece of kit. It retails, I think, at about £80. I'll put the actual price on screen because I can't quite remember right now. So, you know, it's, it's quite expensive, but I really do think that you get a lot out of it for the money. Children are learning so many skills that are so transferable. Like I said before, at the beginning of this video, coding is so important. Coding and programming and computing have just exploded across early education because that is what children need to be learning now for when they move on to later in life because that's just the way the world is moving. So to be able to do something like this at home or at school is wonderful because it makes it so fun but they're still learning these essential skills. I really do think that it is a worthwhile gift. Maybe Christmas is coming up. Um, if you're able to afford something like this, a birthday, um, I, I think that it would be a good investment, in my opinion. Let me know if you have tried this or what you think of it, just from watching this video, in the comments below. If you liked this video and you want to see me review more things, then hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel. Um, and if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, do hit that bell icon so that you get a notification every time I post a new video because YouTube isn't very good at notifying you all by itself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.